You need to have equal parts certainty and uncertainty. What it means is certainty in that they know they can trust you, they know that you're honest, they know that you're stable and reliable, emotionally certain, yeah. But at the same time, you're, you've got this uncertainty that you're... Spontaneous yes. and... And they're thinking, oh, what, what are they going to do next? Mm -hmm. you, yeah, like, so, which keeps them intrigued. Which is the perfect combination, 50-50. Yeah. To always have someone guessing, but at the same time feeling calm and in, in your stability. Mm -hmm. That's the key. That is the key. That's the code. Too... That's the code behind the code. Yeah. Because if we we spoke about if you go too far into uncertain, then it's negative. Like people just think you're, you're crazy. Loose, loose cannon. You're crazy. Yeah. And at the same time, what happens if you get become too certain in the way that you do well, they, brand perception and positioning? They just become bored, so people tune out. Yeah, it's the same old, same yeah. old. So they're just like, oh, it's a Saturday. I know that she's going to go and read the morning paper whilst, you know. And the paper's exactly the same. Exactly, yeah. So that's the key. That's the key, JT, for brand positioning and perception in the marketplace. Certainty, equal parts. I like yeah. that. It's a recipe. Equal yeah. parts, certainty equal parts uncertainty, mm. keep them guessing. The best compliment you can ever get in business is when someone says, Steve, what are you gonna do next? Because that is when they're like, I wanna follow what you do next, but I'm uncertain about where you're going. Exactly. Therefore, I'm curious, therefore I think about you, yeah. consciously and unconsciously, and therefore you know that people are bringing up your name in conversations at coffee shops, yep. and therefore you've recruited some salespeople on your team, and you're not paying them anything. And we got a bunch of appointments now based yeah. on that very principle. So that's the code behind the code. My call to you, seat besiders. You've now got a name. Yeah. My call to you, seat besiders, is to be intensely curious about the code behind the code. Not just taking it at face value, yeah. but start to see why certain things work. On oh, PS, me and JT have decided, and of course you, <laughs> so we're going to shoot a seat beside episode on Betty's Burgers. Okay, sweet. Mm. You don't know when we're going to have a chance to eat Betty's Burgers. Today. Oh, I guess we did. I'm thing. not eating bed. I need no, some break. I can't. Now, what I've found, and this is where I really, and I've seen a lot of people miss a lot of opportunity, and it's by not playing the alpha. And this is a fine line between being humorous and making them feel comfortable. And it's also a fine line to being the alpha and being perceived as arrogant. So I've put two words together that I think are the winning combo. And that's being a calm alpha. If you are not the alpha in the situation, meaning that the potential client or client is trying to lead you, does that normally end well for your business? Likewise, if you forcefully play the alpha, what sort of thing happens? Yeah, they revert, the wall comes up. But when you introduce the emotionally stable, calm alpha, they become attracted to it and there's a sense of endearing because there's stability in it. But at the same time, you're not afraid to tell the truth. I'm 